So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So I've just got one final unboxing here for now. And this is Chuck Pinson's Sunrise by the Sea. So I know you can't see the full image right now. And yes, I've already taken it out of the box because I took the chance to get rid of the boxes whilst I could. Um, but yeah, we've got this beautiful image here. We've got our drills with our um, kit name so you can see. And obviously you can already see two bags of ABs there. Um, so we've got that, which we'll go into those after. We've also got our sticky label here, Sunrise by the Sea. So this is a mini one that you can either put on the end of the box to show what it is, or you can go and, oops, sorry, I just bumped things, losing my balance. Um, or you can stick it in like a journal or something like that. Depends on your preference. We've also got here our sticker sheet with our legend. So these stickers are peelable. They are. And this one has 65 colors. And we've got our name, Sunrise by the Sea by Chuck Pinson, a start date, end date, if you decide to use it. Our extra large image. This is a square diamond shape. It is 87 centimeters by 65 centimeters. We've also got our thank you pamphlet from Diamond Art Club. So this contains what's included in your kit, tips and tricks, thank you code, um, QR code for a video instructions, VIP Facebook group QR code, more step-by-step -step instructions, and then just some QR codes to access the app, as well as a 20% off your first purchase through the app. Sorry, I'm going a little faster. I'm just going to turn the heating down just a little. It's a little too warm. I just turned it up a bit because I had a bit of clothes drying in here. Makes it more awkward. And then the final thing we've also got, I've started to, I've just opened the top bit here so that it's ready, is our toolkit. So this is the new toolkit. And this is, should contain what we need so let's see so we got our drill bags our uh, not drill bags our ziplock bags mini ziplock bags we got our drill pen and tweezers because tweezers come in the square kit but not in the round and i only buy the square so got the tweezers so let's just put this in here So here we've got our pencil grip as well. So because it's a pink pen, it's got a pink pencil grip. Our heart-shaped wax. So this comes in a little tub to keep it from drying out when you're using it and you get two heart-shaped waxes there. We've got our washi tape, which is this cute little love heart washi tape in rainbow colors. kind of looks like it's overlapping but I think that's just because of the colors underneath the washi tape as you do it and we've got I think it's a four and six or four and seven multi-placer I'm not totally sure I don't use them so I don't really know we've got our cover minder so this one's a cute little cherry blossom it looks almost like with our magnet and I'm gonna stick that one directly on my fridge so this is a pale pink and that's a new one for me it is and then our final thing is our drill holder oh I can't think of what the name is drill tray to put our drills in and I got rid of all the clear glitter sparkly ones just because they didn't work well for me like the white ones do because I just kept getting confused between the drills and what was on the canvas and what wasn't and so on and so forth and it just made it confusing for me with my autism. So I basically um, got, just kept the new white drill trays just because I 
can use them and see things easier and all the rest. So whilst I let you look at that and admire the canvas, I've tried to get it all in frame on the camera and I'm pretty certain you can see the whole thing in frame or majority, maybe just a slight corner on this side cut out. But I'm just going to shift these sticker things around to where it is. If you see the stuff in the background, that is just because I've been sorting through pastoral kits and that. All of this is like Ziploc bags, wax, um, more Ziploc bags and wax, as well as some washi tape in there. And then this side I've got washi tape um, in two, I think. The pink tweezers in one and then just our pencil grips, tweezers, a few of the pencil, um, the pencil, the drill pens that I kept and um, I kept some at the multi places even though I don't use them in case in the future I decide I want to try it. But right now I just like to single place with the single metal drill placer from Diamond Art Club in the Diamond Art Club pens. So that's what works for me. So now this image is obviously a gorgeous lighthouse image. So you can feel a few bubbles in the plastic. If you notice any bubbles in the plastic, that is not an issue with the canvas. It is just um, basically just the plastic bubbles. <laughs> it's not necessarily the canvas is wrinkled or anything. So I've forgotten to mention this a few times, but we've got like a velvet style canvas. We've got scalloped edges to prevent fraying. We've got our Do What Makes You Sparkle up the very top there. And then we've got our Legend on both the left and right sides. So the upper top corner and the bottom corner. And we've got here, we've got our, um, let's see if I can make it easier to see. We've got our Sunrise by the Sea, our size 34.2 inches by 25.6 inches or 87 centimetres by 65 centimetres. And we've got our copyright Chuck Pinson slash Diamond Art Club. And that basically just means that it's licensed and Chuck Pinson is being comp fully compensated for use of this image. Here we've got our discount code and Diamond Art Club's Facebook and Instagram details if you want to follow them. And over in this corner, we've got our lifetime warranty guarantee. So now, as for our image, I also always forget to show this too. The drill um, placement is very clear, so you can clearly see the different drills and what symbol they are as well, or where. Ugh, how do I explain it? You can clearly see what symbol is what and where each drill is placed. I, keep, I always get confused and I repeat things over and over because I can't think of how to say it or if I'm saying it correctly and I'm saying the same thing each time but in a different way but it doesn't yet feel right to me. So it looks like here we got some birds down here or some seagulls and I'm sure there's probably going to be some hidden stuff that I don't notice till it's done here like Woodland Church and it by Abraham Hunter and that and so we can see some birds throughout here here. We've got a whole heap of flowers. We've got our little flower arch here. It looks like a little boat at the front of the house here. Then we've got our lighthouse with our little house cottage thing here. That's a bubble, I can feel it. Quite a large bubble. So sometimes what I do for bubbles is I just push them up to the edge so they just pop out. But it will sometimes leave a bit of a crease and that in there once you push it out, but it's just what I do. It doesn't affect things, having the bubbles in there or whatever that I've found, but I just tend to have this habit with my autism of pushing the bubbles out. <laughs> so we got a gorgeous blue house with an anchor oar and our lighthouse here. And we've got like, it looks like this is the path to the house. I can't actually see the path entrance onto the beach. It looks like there's a whole heap of rocks surrounding this entrance to the beach, possibly. Then we got 
Um, let's just check you're all in frame. Yep, we are. And we've got a whole heap of like more flowers. Another seagull, I'm assuming, on a stump there. Another bird here. We've got our little beach area down here with our waves. Then out on this main area, we've got like a boat and our seagulls. There's another bubble. And it does leave a few wrinkles in the plastic, but it's like, that's not a huge issue. The bubbles aren't technically an issue either, as I said, but I just push them out anyway. I can't help it. Just my autism stuff. That makes me feel like I have to push them out. <laughs> um, so we've got our boats here on the ocean and then we've got our sunset and our seagulls flying around here. And that's the dog snoring, if you heard that. Sorry, I'm just finding the bubbles and pushing them out as I go. So we got our sunset and then like just some spring coloured trees and flowering trees in the background. So yeah, it's very, very gorgeous. It looks like there might be something else here too, but I'm not sure what it is at the moment. So yeah, now as for our drills, I will try going into that into these now because I've got to shift all the drills up because I'm starting to store them separate too. If you want to store them separate that's where this label is handy because you can match that to the canvas. Um, but I'm starting to store these separate but I need to actually shift all the little storage boxes. I've put these in <laughs> out of the way tomorrow so I want to try and get this see if I can fit this last one that I've got for now in there and then I've still got some coming by the mail that I'm gonna to have to try and fit in there but I just want to shift things out of the way before my mum comes in tomorrow night so I want to try and shift those out of the way so we got this pretty sort of very beachy style theme Quite a few browns, oranges, yellows, that kind of thing. So, probably start with the skinnier lot, or maybe we'll be starting with this lot. So, what I like about the new one, Dharma Dark Club is still currently transitioning between 20 facets and 13 facets, but I'm slowly noticing that there's more 20 facets coming out. This one here looks to be 13 facets. I don't know that you can tell, but the Difference between the 13 facets and the 20 facets is the 20 facets is actually pyramid shaped. So these 436 are 20 facets. So it's more of a point rather than a flat bottom. I also like what they've done. They've actually changed the color of the labels recently to an aubergine and they've also added an underline underneath the number so you can tell which way up the number goes so you don't get confused. So we've got 3818 and two bags of 436 and if you're wondering why it's on top of so many other canvases it's just because as I said I'm currently separating all out of the boxes to make more space I'm getting the boxes out. I've gotten the boxes out and now I've got to go through and excluding the ones that I'm currently working on um, and one that I do have planned to do as a thank you I am got to go through all of these and work them out, sort them by size, blah, 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 just to put them in their sizes for storage purposes when I store them flat. So, yeah, it's going to be, I'm really excited to hopefully get some more space, but I'm not quite sure how or where I'm going to store the drills yet. So this piece I just got to, this piece has seven ABs as well in it. So we're going to start off with our first AB, which is 119, and it's this pretty purple. So Aurora Borealis, or AB, stands for Aurora Borealis, which means it's like Northern Lights, but basically it's all... Um, ugh, I can never think how to explain this each time. It's like rainbow lights or rainbow colours, so it has all colours of the rainbow in it. And this 
will actually reflect different colors so I can see like pinks, purples, greens, yellows, blues throughout the AB tone just like you'll see in the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights but also this will pick up on other colors around it and reflect those colors in the piece as well in the ABs hence making it just pick up certain sections and certain lights and will cause different shine in different areas. I don't even know that I explained that right, but yeah. So, and then we've got 3778, 3778, yeah. 312, 336, 938, 161, 333, 208, 327, 3805, so this is pretty pink. 3755, 742, 3776, 3772, 154, 3861, 141. So this is our second AB. And this is our white AB. 597, 132, so our third AB. And 840. what's next it's like we got more ab's in this string so which way up we're going this way i hate standing causes me so many issues and itching and all of the rest i can't remember how many ab's i think we just went through one two three i think we went through three ab's so we still got another four so we got nine thirty 3064, 647, 993, 100, our fourth AB. 413, 150. So anything under the number of 150 is typically an AB with Diamond Art Club, but 150 isn't an AB. So 402, 498, 947, 100. 111 so that's our fifth ab i think it's pretty sort of magenta -y, purple -y color 319 two bags of that 107 that's our six ab i think and that's a pretty red 3856 we've got two bags 310 we got two bags 3346 we got two bags Hopefully you could see all of those because I was losing my balance a bit when I was doing it. So apologies for that if I lost my balance and pulled them out of camera frame a little bit. Not deliberate by any means. And we got 317, 318, 718, 433, got two bags, 3799, 3371. Two bags, 744, 3345, two bags, 3325, 890, two bags, 321, 3854, 3854, so two bags of that, 915, 437, and we've got two bags of that one. You're wondering where Holly is, it's because she's in a bed because we're going to bed soon. Also, if I lose my balance a bit, I'm sorry, that's just because my knee is currently not taped because I had to take the taping off today and sometimes that irritates my skin so I need to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of time before I can retape it again because otherwise, or a day or so to retape it just because the skin ends up irritated and coming up in lumps sometimes. So you've got 739, we've got two bags of that. 841, two bags. 3809, two bags. 434, two bags. 738, two bags. 3810, 743, two bags. 129, two bags. So this is our final AB, it looks like. 898, 435, 
33.47 and 38.11. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's like a minty grey sort of colour. And yeah, I was down a bit out of the lighting. So, sorry for that. Hopefully you could see it all. So, now we'll try and have a look as to where our ABs are. And I will try and show you this. So, we're going to start with number one, which is 100. So I can see some number one here in this bush. Here, number one here. I don't think there's gonna be many. I don't think I remember seeing many of number one. But we'll see, there's some ones here, ones here. Some ones up here in this tree, up here. Some ones here, ones here, ones here, and ones here. Some ones here. Bit of ones here, some ones here. So there's more ones than I thought. We've also got ones up in here. And then we've also got ones in this tree here. Some ones here, ones here, here, a little bit here, some ones here, and then just some ones down here and a little bit into this bush by the looks of it, and a few ones here. So number two is 107, so this is a red. So I can see some one twos here, some twos down here in these reds, so obviously it's going to be in the red flowers. Not every area of red flower, but most of these ones over this side I can see twos in, quite a few twos. I can see quite a few twos here too, in this area. See some twos here, some twos here, a few twos here. And then there's quite a few twos here in these flowers. Some of these red flowers here, some twos here, here. And then... Let's see if there's any in this top area or not. Doesn't look like it. So all the twos seem to be around this bottom area where our flowers are. And a little bit in this mid area. Number three is 111. So I'm predicting this is probably going to be in a lot of our flowers on that too. I just want to check if there's, yeah, there's threes up in this pink tree up here. Few threes here, some threes in our door here, threes in our little flower arch, threes here, some threes up through here, couple of threes here, some threes here, 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 and we've got some threes here, some threes in here, so it looks like most of our pink flowers have some threes, a little bit of threes down here. And then over here, we've got some threes here where the boat is. And then we've got some threes around this area and this area and a bit here. Also, sorry, I haven't live streamed the last few days. My computer's had a bit of a thing with the fan. And a friend is looking at trying to get the dust out of the air vents and stuff to see if that helps reduce the noise levels that are happening due to whatever is going on currently. Because I was just doing it and it wasn't hot or anything. And then just all of a sudden the fan just started working overly loud. So my laptop is currently with him and he's trying to see if he can sort of improve the sound of the fan loudness just so that I can sort of live stream and hear what I'm doing and can hear the other sounds rather than just the fan of the laptop as well. Just so you know that that's why I haven't live streamed for a bit. I've been exhausted on that but I did intend on live streaming but unfortunately the laptop did what I wasn't expecting it to do and as a result I haven't been able to live stream till that's sorted. So yeah, so next we've got four, number four, which is 119. 
And I'm noticing Dharma.com is actually starting to change some of the symbols. I used to leave all the ABs just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, blah, blah. Now they're actually changing them. There's two different symbols that aren't numbers in the ABs here, but we're not to them yet. So we do not find number four first. I'm not expecting this one to be easy just because of the fact that it didn't have many there. I'm not, so I can't see any four in this area at all. There's a little bit of fall here, a little bit of fall here. Some falls here, looks like. A few falls here around this area. A little bit of falls here. And that looks like about it for the falls. I'll just double check there's none in the pink tree up there. No, none in the pink tree. So number five is our yellow AB. And this was the one that had two big bags of yellow in it. So expecting there's going to be a lot. It's just finding them. So five's up here in the lighthouse area. Got fives here as well in here. So fives in here. Some fives here and here. Some fives here. Fives here, here, here. We've got fives. Fives here as well. Um, some fives down here. A few fives here, small amount of fives there. I think I said fives here, did I? There's also fives here. So there's some fives throughout the water in different areas. I think I said these fives. There's fives in the sailboats. There's more fives here. Some more fives down here and in here and here. More fives in this main boat. And there's fives in the sails here. So all these big sails have fives in them. And then the other area we've got a whole heap of fives is our sky. So throughout all these yellow areas, the pale yellow areas, there is fives. So fives here, fives here, fives here. So fives all around this area. Here, a few fives here. Any fives there? No, there's no fives in that tree. So fives throughout the sky in different areas. There is. That isn't fives, I don't think, up there. But there's a whole heap of fives in the sky. I'll just pull it down and check. Oh, that is fives there. And that is fives there. Okay, so I'll, that was fives. And there's some fives here as well. And then now... Number six is actually letter C, it is. So it's colour C, this is 132. So I can see some C's here on the boat. Some C's down here on what I think is this bird. Some C's here in the flowers. C's in these flowers here. Some C's here in these flowers. Some C's here. So it looks like a lot of the featured detailing is not just the sky, but a lot in the flowers as well. Some C's down in these flowers here. A few C's here. Some more C's up here and up through here. So yeah, they're really using it to highlight areas with the C's. Oh, well, with all the AB's as usual. I think I said the C's up here. And then check, yeah, there is some C's up in this tree here too. And then, no, I can't see any C's in the lighthouse area, but there are some C's in the window, in these upper windows. 
not this window, but just these two. And then our final color is our 141, which is our white square with our black dot, which we've seen a fair bit recently. So I'll just check it's all in frame after moving it slightly. Yep. So now we're looking for our white square with our black dot inside it. So we've got some here, small amount here. I don't remember there being a huge amount of white AB, but I'm sure there's some. There's some here in the lighthouse, more up here in the lighthouse, by the looks of it. Um, some white AB in our boat sails here. So in all these little boats in the sails, there's some white AB. And then we've got some white AB here in the sky. And that seems to be it, because I don't remember there being a lot in that packet. And a little bit here on this bird. Down here. Oh, and some around the beach. I missed those ones. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that anyway. And this is Trek Pinson's Sunrise by the Sea by Diamond Art Club. And, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, um... Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I don't normally say that, but... I'd appreciate if you leave a like or subscribe or comment. And yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.